This is not a drill. This is not a drill. It's Eminem Day, and it's time for us to show our appreciation for one of the greatest of all time. However, I am concerned going into the single after hearing that Beyonce is going to be on it. Instantly, I'm thinking it's going to be a mainstream appealing song. No me, no, I'm generally not a fan of that sound. This might be a little bit of a hurdle to get through, but we'll make it work. We make everything work. Eminem's got a new album called Revival that's coming out in... Damn, when, when does it come out? I'm, I'm hoping it comes out next week, which is what people have been saying. If it doesn't, I'm going to be disappointed. Eminem don't disappoint me. Holy f it's not time for me to wild out yet. Certain artists just know they have the juice and can release songs at like the most impromptu times. Like the worst time to drop a song in the in the very middle of the day when you know that people are going to have anxiety. They're not going to be able to listen to it right away. Most people are going to be at work. I happen to get off early. Like there are some people that do certain things because they know they got the juice like that. When Travis Scott released Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight at 12 p.m randomly on a Friday last year. Drop it when you know people are off work, when you know people aren't caught in traffic, when you know they're not stuck in rush hour. Be considerate because they're gonna pay for it. I'm, I'm paying for it, but be considerate. I need a haircut. Still sexy though. I'm just kidding, I swear. We're going to analyze this song when we're done listening to it. If there's anything that I could not uh, hear him say, I'll genius it. And we're gonna see what this song means, if anything. It's called Walk on Water. So I'm assuming he's gone to a higher place. Eminem's trying to tell us he's a god now. So let's just get into it. Am I really ready for this? Let's do it together. Pause. Let's do it. Come on. Bring it in. Bring it in. We're going to hit the button on three. One, three. Water. Okay, Beyonce. I Okay, I see you. Is it the bar I set, my arms I stretch, but I can't reach? A far cry from it, or it's in my grass butters. So I know the marks high butter, flies rip apart my stomach, knowing that no matter what increases like khakis, I feel the ice oh cracking dude. because what the fuck? Increases like khakis. You can hear him ripping up the papers in the back, which is cool. I guess he doesn't really know how to jot his thoughts down. Always in search of the verse that I haven't spit yet. Will this step just be another misstep? Will be flawless? And it always feels like I'm hitting the mark till I go sit in the car, listen and pick it apart. Like this shit is garbage. God's mm. giving me all this. It's a facade and it's exhaustive. And I try not to listen. I mean, I know that. Nas, Rock, Kim, Pac, Big, James, Todd, Smith, and I'm not Prince. <laughs> Flawed human, I guess, but I'm doing my best to not ruin your expectations and meet them. But fur out on, and now I'm getting clowned and frowned on. Am I lucky to be around this long? Yes, you are. Begs the question, though. You're very fortunate. And everyone who has doubt, remind. Now take your best rhyme. I'll do it. Now do it a thousand times. Fine. I won't pout or cry or spiral down or whine. But I'll decide if it's my final bout this time. I like this. I kind of do. I like it as a fan. I'm just a man, but as long as I got a mic, I'm godlike. So me and you are not a like bitch. I wrote stay. How do you? No, 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 no. You do all that and end it like that. Okay, so theory. I think that's gonna play into a second song on Revival. On the Revival album, I think that's gonna roll into another song. So hopefully that's what that final part was. And he gets extremely braggadocious on the next song, whatever it may be on Revival. How am I feeling about this Eminem track? It's... From the perspective of a fan of Eminem, I could see a ton of people enjoying this. From the perspective of, you know, an outsider who really has never really messed with Eminem like that, I could see you looking at this track as very, um, whiny, kind of complainy, um, kind of self-absorbed in a way. And uh, like I said, both perspectives, I'm going to speak from both. What the track does is essentially tells you how Eminem has been feeling since his fall from grace or, you know, what he would consider a fall from grace. It seems as though, you know, one of our legend, rap legend people, uh, it seems as though he takes uh, criticism kind of close to home, you know, he kind of internalizes it to some degree. And what this track is, is essentially saying that he's human. And, you know, he feels the impact, he feels the stigma, he feels what people have been saying. Coming from a guy who makes such powerful statements on a regular basis, it 
it kind of shakes me up as a as a fan to to hear him rap about something like this when this is the same guy who was basically saying I don't give a shit in songs 10 20 years ago. So it is definitely a, a huge contrast from what he used to rap about. Um, I'm glad that this song didn't go where I thought it would, which is, you know, more of the subject matter about the world and how we need to change and all these other things, which is obvious. Eminem's already spoken on things like this. So keeping it more so geared towards Eminem and comparing himself to where he used to be, to where he is right now, as far as how people view him, uh, it's very eye-opening. I wouldn't assume Eminem would even care about, you know, half of what people say, at least at this point. You clearly see within this track that he's always second-guessing himself. He's ripping up papers and constantly trying to be a perfectionist in the background of Beyonce's vocals, which are really good. I think her vocals bring a bit of an angelic feel to it, as if Eminem is in this dark, depressed place and she's the angel that's coming in to tell him everything's gonna be all right. I know that's not what her lyrics kind of say, but uh, her representation on the track is what it gives me. I think this track does show a healthy side for once of Eminem to show that anxiety and, you know, some forms of depression do creep in from time to time. He's clearly fighting these impulses, but uh, they do still get to him from time to time, as you can see on this track. Someone tell me if it's a harp or a violin in the background and there's a piano and that's it. That's all that's being played in this entire song. It kind of goes to show you that Eminem is more of a wordsmith than he is someone you just go to for production. Uh, out of all the music I've ever heard from Eminem, I've never gone into it uh, looking for these amazing beats. I've always tried to see how he would take the song, what direction he would take it in, and uh, that's one of Eminem's strong points. In the very beginning of his piece, he starts off by saying, why are the expectations so high? Is it the bar that he set? And it's really funny um, how he paints the picture as if he's the one who set the bar and he's no longer able to reach it. And this song is kind of the representation of him uh, in his career, you know, fearing not being able to reach that plateau that essentially was created by him or by the fans' perception of him. Uh, and Beyonce's lyrics add to that by saying that I'm not Jesus, um, I can only walk on water when it's frozen, with the implications of I'm great, but I'm still human. It's a cool song, honestly. Um, There are other parts in this song where he's uh, specifically referencing older parts of his career. Um, saying that, you know, what, what's a rhyme that I haven't spit yet? Telling himself that this is garbage, again, with the crumbling up and tearing up of pieces of paper in the back. Um, he brings up a good point that I might even make into a discussion video sometime in the future of people holding Eminem to this pedestal and constantly criticizing his work right now in comparison to what he used to be able to do. And I think he's constantly living in that lane of, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta top my old material. I gotta be better than I was yesterday or 10 years ago. And I think that stress has gotten Eminem a lot. And him being one of the legends, I would, I feel bad for that. On the flip side, you're gonna have a handful of people that really do not care about Eminem making a full track, rapping about his insecurity, him feeling this weird sense of anxiety and depression because he's unable to top his own work. It, it unintentionally is a humble brag by saying, I used to be the best, I'm not even able to be better than myself. And it's not like he's wrong, I mean, this is a known fact. Eminem used to be way more impactful, way more creative, years ago in the earlier part of his career. That could be added to the fact that he was one of the few white rap artists that were, you know, around in that time. And when he came out, people were kind of shocked. He was kind of like the liger in the rap community. Now there are a bunch of other people, but people have been desensitized to Eminem. You know, everybody knows what he's going to do. Everybody knows either he's gonna rip the mic or he's gonna say something cringy. Those are pretty much the two options for many people who aren't fans of Eminem. But to summarize, the song sounds like it's going to transition into something else. So it's definitely a track that's gonna end up on the album maybe as an intro track might not be bad i believe um if this is revival oh my god this is all making sense now if this is revival maybe eminem is trying to say i'm about to revive my former self i'm about to bring back the old m for this project even if this is his last product because he was speaking for a second on this track as if this might be his final album maybe maybe not but if it is Revival wouldn't be a bad idea. Reviving your former self, reviving who you used to be, reviving the person that everyone used to be in love with and shocked by. Eminem was saying some crazy stuff back in the day, so I'm not surprised, so I'm not gonna be surprised if this is gonna be his new course of action. This is an intro, beautiful starter with Beyonce giving some angelic vocals. Transition from that song into the hard, raw, old Eminem. If that's what we're gonna get, then this song makes sense. Um, As a radio single, I don't know how much replay value it'll have. 
Uh, for me, I like introspective Eminem. It's cool. It'll be hit or miss for some folks, I'm assuming, because nobody really wants to hear Eminem complain about people critiquing his work and humble bragging about not being able to top himself. But at the same time, as a fan of Eminem, I want to hear more. I obviously want to hear more. It's been Sean C. Uh, stick around for my reaction to the full album coming most likely next week. I, I hope it comes next week. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Try to make a much better ending there, but I guess, I guess not. I guess I'm gonna be out. I guess I'm out. All right, I'll see you next, bye.